bromate, we should be able to detect some slight effervescence. You haven't changed a bit. Uh, eh, maybe there's a little hope. Oh, you know there's still a little hope when your best friend always sends you a card on Thomas Edison's birthday. You no, know, the tough part was getting that little light bulb to go off when you open the card. Genius. Ah, I brought you something. Well, what's this? Oh, the demagnetizer. Our very first invention together. Boy, this sure came in handy. Fun, fun, fun. Beach Boys, 1964. How can you remember that? It's the year Nadine Baker dumped you. <laughs> Don't be cruel. Elvis Presley, 1956. You can't stump me. <laughs> hey, I, I, I don't have to whistle. What are you doing here? I came to see my friend. What are you doing here? You can't go in there. Oh, well, maybe it has something to do with the fact that you were both 13 at the time. Hi. What's wrong, John? Sorry, Dr. Bennett. Dr. Jeffcoat, this guy says he knows you. <laughs> I've never seen him before. Dr. J! <laughs> it's all right. He's okay. Thank you, John. Andrew Clements, I want you to meet Ray Bennett. Hi. Dr. Jay's told me all about you. You were the one who was arrested for sneaking into the girls' dorm. <laughs> Actually, I would have got away with it, too, except for the run in my hose. If it hadn't been for Ray, I never would have done anything to grad school, but grad school. Well, you were brilliant, but you needed help in the fun department. My world is empty without you, baby. The Supremes, 1966. Yo. Yeah. Did I miss something? Well, this is a game that Ray and I started playing back in school. Whenever one of us names a song, the other has to say who sang it and when. I guess they didn't have video games back then. <laughs> so why are you in town? Actually, I'm unveiling my new invention at the International Science Summit tomorrow. What is it? Um, it's a secret. Wow. What kind of secret? Well, a secret secret. Ray has invented something that could put some wealthy people out of business. So that's why you have the mountain man outside. <laughs> and he's invited me to be his guest of honor. Great. Hey, there's a double bill of Godzilla movies at the Crest tonight. Oh, I'm sorry, but Ray and I have a lot of catching up to do. Oh, okay. I... Guess I'll see you guys later. Nice meeting you, Andrew. Yeah, likewise. Uh, good luck with your... Nice try. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The usual, Pops. Who are you? Pops, how long have I been coming here? Exactly. A long time. I'm a regular. I should be able to say the usual and have it mean something. You want a burger? Right. With pickles, mustard, onions, and ketchup. The usual, right? Right. went to the concert with Bill? Uh, just tell him Andrew called. Bye. I was surprised with that. Pops, do I usually eat fries on weekends? I'm not sure. I'm gonna let you sweat that one out.
you ever miss teaching? Oh, sometimes. Like when you see the look on kids' faces when they finally understand <laughs> something for the very first oh. time. <laughs> but I wanted to get back to the lab, get my hands dirty. Excuse me for a moment. Mm -hmm. Raymond, I know exactly how many pieces are left. Well, there's one less now. <laughs> Hi, Dr. J. Andrew. I thought we could catch the second half of that double feature. Thank you, but we still have three more years to catch up on. I never saw you eat pizza before. It's not a pretty sight, but it's a special night. Hey, how you doing, Andrew? Okay, I guess. Hey, if you're not busy tomorrow, maybe you'd like to join us at that science summit. Thanks. That'd be great. I take back everything I thought about you. <laughs> this is my first scientific luncheon. You sure I look okay? If there was a Nobel Prize for clothes, you'd win. It was really nice of Ray to invite me. Do you think he really wanted me to come, or was he worried that there wouldn't be enough good-looking guys? Probably a little of both. This word, Dr. Banner. Time to change the beds. Let me check it out first. you in a suit. <laughs> My mom says the same thing. Mine too. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me. Oh, you're more than welcome. I'm sure there aren't more young people here. I hope you don't get bored. Oh, no way. I get along great with old people too. Children should be seen and not heard. Uh, you're right. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> that Andrew is something else. Oh, Andrew. Yes. Andrew, something's wrong. You think I'm pigging out? They're really good. Ray is behaving very strangely. It's, it's like talking to a stranger. He's preoccupied about presenting his invention. I'll prove it to you. Uh, a scotch and two mineral waters, please. Here. Thank you. You'll see for yourself. It's like a totally different person. Here, Ray, scotch. Your favorite. Well, you haven't forgotten. Oh. Memories. Elvis, 1969. Excuse me? No, uh, e excuse us. Play the game. Right. And his favorite drink is not scotch, it's bourbon. That man is not Ray. We have a problem. Not for long. Well, who is he? I don't know, but I, I just can't believe that guy is Ray. He must be a double. A double? Oh, great. Now there's two of them. Andrew, do I detect a note of jealousy here? Well, maybe a little. Andrew, I'm sorry if you felt left out when Ray came to town, but now I think he's in danger. You're right. Petty jealousies blinded me of my responsibility as protector of the people. 
I failed Ray as Ultraman, but no more. I am all yours. Andrew, let's calm down and try to think like two rational human beings. You stay here and try to enjoy the party. I will go and look for Ray. I still think this is a job for Ultraman. 